You ready to go, okay, bud? Well, I essentially lived by the ocean for, you know, my whole life and because the ocean's my job, I, I just always wanted for some reason to live up in the mountains and here in Hawaii. I always wanted to live in this, in this area where I live now and um, I moved up to 4,000 feet. I'm Shane Dorian and I'm from Kona, Hawaii and I'm a pro surfer slash full-time dad and part-time bow hunter. My next door neighbor had an extra bow and so one day we were over there drinking beers and I started shooting the bow and the target and he's like we should go pig hunting. So we went on his land and I, and, and I just had the best time ever and so I bought a bow and been a bow hunter ever since. Yes, yeah, so I've been shooting with Jackson a lot the last the last month or two and uh, he's starting to get good with his bow and just try and relax bud. Shot. Just until probably a handful of years ago, I never really thought about where my food came from. I never thought about where it was grown or where the meat was farmed or where it was, you know, just basically whatever ended up on my plate. I, I, I really never knew where it came from. I think there's nothing better than, than having a, a plate of amazing food that you know who, who grew the vegetables, your friend has a garden, or if you have fresh fish that your friend caught, or you have fresh venison that you bow hunted. I, I think that's pretty cool. I eat deer meat probably three or four times a week, and my family does too. My, my little daughter, she's five. My son, Jackson, is eight, and, and they both love deer meat. My wife loves making deer meat. She loves eating it. That's what was first on the Traeger, like right away I wanted to grill up some, some deer. And on my Traeger, it for some reason holds in all, like all the moisture, it's really, really tender, and um, it doesn't taste like grilled venison at all. It's really, really amazing. I mean, basically you're cooking on wood. It's, it's, a, it's a wood pellet grill. So it has a different flavor. It has a lot of smoke to it, and um, you know, but you can turn that up or turn it down, and you can cook on a higher heat and cook on low heat. I, I tried a few times on my old grill to, to to grill venison, and it would always dry it out. It wasn't really tender. It wasn't really moist and, and juicy. On my Traeger, I've been messing around with some different recipes and and digging it. <laughs> 